who were concerned was a fugitive for the last week. There was the arrest warrant was signed. Apparently, I believe it was on Tuesday or Wednesday. They've been looking for him and they turned several times where he was supposed to turn him in. They canceled. He's here now. What's the yes, judge? This is an aggravated battery. He's entitled to a bond. The standard bond is $10,000. And that's what I'm setting the $10,000 bond with the hold for the division judge. Case number hold him for case number F21 for one three five B. And you'll see your judge tomorrow, 9 a.m. All right. Thank you. One other thing I need to stay away from the victim. One. Whoa. What's his victim's name or initials? Is it X? I'm sorry. There's a witness and a victim. No, judge. The victim is initials. I D. I is an N. D is in David. The victim's initials are F. D. The alleged victim. Some. Come on. Can I have the name of the initials of the alleged victim or what? You want me to order him to stay away from this club as well? Yes, sir. Stay away from the King of Diamonds establishment at seven zero two zero Northwest 72nd Avenue in Miami. So while the judge can you you can't go there. Yes. Judge, can you also tell Sam to stay away from there as well? She doesn't have jurisdiction for that judge. You have good lawyers. This is a serious matter. And you're going to see the division judge tomorrow. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, judge. Listen, check it out now. Oh, man, when Keeping It Real goes wrong, episode 105. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this, man. Pooh Shiesty, okay, he's on this episode. All right, mister, I don't need no security. I got my fire up in the club. And to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, it's led him to a jail cell. Now, I can't tell if this is Keeping It Real or Keeping It Real Dumb, but after you hear the details of this story, maybe you could put something in the comments and answer which one you think it is. Now, they're saying that Pooh Shicey was up in the club wearing a pair of goddamn jeggings. These pants were skin tight, something you would see out of fashion over women's. Don't know why the fuck you'd be having all the type of money hanging out your pocket when you're rocking skin tight jeans. However, Pooh Shicey did it anyway. Now, he's up in the club, mad money in his pockets. Nigga don't know what an ATM card is, a debit card, or to be honest, it's just rapper image. You got to have the cash on you anyway. Apparently, that was his appearance fee for being in the club. And also, there was some light money there that he could throw. So it wasn't just only singles. It was hundreds and fifties as well. Now, while being in the club, and I got to give you all the real breakdown of rappers, okay? These rappers are really about like, 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 I, I haven't seen a rapper weigh more than 150 pounds, okay? These things are really light and frail, okay? They're probably like 120. So listen, to keep it real, they probably turn up the AC a little bit high, Somebody might have took a yawn or like a fan themselves. And these niggas, they're blowing. They're flying from left to right. It's like a hurricane up in the club. Anyway, somehow Pooh Shiesty, who was on stage, got bumped. And they're saying the money went flying out of his pocket. Okay, so he's denying or according to police report, he didn't get pickpocket. The money somehow fell out of his pocket. And then everybody's seen the money fall out of a rapper's pocket. They didn't know it's accidental. They're thinking, oh, he's throwing money. They're in the strip club. So you know what happened? Everybody ran and grabbed up the money. Now, Pooh Shiesty was a little bit upset. Who the hell pushed him? Who was grabbing stuff, okay? Now, apparently, people saw he was upset when security guard at the club saw that he had a pistol in his waistband and then basically said, yo, listen, yo, hide that junk. Don't take it away and put it away. And basically... While they were escorting him out of the club, he supposedly took out the gun or was trying to hide it. He, his attorneys claim he was trying to hide it. Some people would say he was trying to pull it out. Pause. However, the gun went off and it hit a security guard in the ankle. Okay, now he did get arrested by the Miami-Dade police. And they did charge him with an aggravated assault and battery for the shooting. And this is his second shooting case that he got in Miami. He was held on no bond at first, but then he had a bail hearing and he was granted $10,000 bond. Now, he can't just take that bond up. He has to wait for the next court, which he has the other case that's a shooting case to basically say, hey, we're going to allow you out because despite you already being out on bond and you did the same thing again, we're cool with you being free. So pretty much the other court got to approve for him to get out on the streets and he could pay another $10,000 and he could be free as a bird. Now, 
Again, this might be favorable for him. Now, if you don't know, he's facing 20 years, but keep in mind a couple circumstances. Even though definitely it was an erratic and quote-unquote accidental shooting, at least it was a security guard, okay? Who knows? You work in the nightlife, you're working with rappers, I'm pretty sure there's some pressure on that individual to say, yo, you ain't testifying against no push I see. You're not cooperating with no cops. So if the victim don't cooperate, the club owner who clearly would want push I see and people who love push I see back in their club, right? They're not going to be too cooperative. Pretty much everybody's going to be on push I see side. It's going to be a tough time for the prosecutor to actually make a case out of this or actually get a conviction. Okay, even though certain things are seen on video that's allegedly floating around. However, I think he could probably plea out to something that's not that bad, okay? Something that he avoids jail time, does like community service, probably gets on probation, but I think he'll be fine. I think he'll get out most likely tomorrow, if not pretty soon. However, this is a second shooting case he got going on, and this is where I go back with the original questions I asked starting out this video. Is this keeping it real or keeping it real dumb? Okay, because it sounded good when he said he don't need no security. He got his fire in the club, and it sounded amazing, okay? Except when he actually did have fire in the club, and he told the security to get the fuck away from him, and he ended up shooting somebody. He's like, wait, 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 wait. You're reckless, brother. And to be honest, this is not how someone who's a millionaire that's making upwards of $60,000 to perform or hang out in a nightclub should be acting. So what do y'all think, man? Do you think that Pooh Shicey was keeping it real or was he just keeping it real fucking dumb? You guys get in the comments, subscribe, like them, subscribe to Academics. <laughs>